Let's look at simplifying fractions. For example, let's simplify this expression here. Now these types of fractions where the numerator or denominator or both contain a fraction are often referred to as either complex fractions or compound fractions. However, don't confuse the word complex here with the complex number system. Now remember, when we're dividing two fractions, we multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. That is, we flip the bottom fraction and multiply. And when we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators. And now this x squared minus 9 will factor. It's a difference of two squares, which gives us 5 times 3 plus x divided by 15x times, and this factors into x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now x plus 3 and 3 plus x will cancel. And we're assuming here, of course, that x does not equal negative 3. And 5 goes into 15 three times, so we'll have a 3 left here in the denominator. And therefore, our answer is 1 divided by 3x times x minus 3. All right, let's see another example. Let's simplify this fraction. Now, there are different approaches here. For example, we could work with the numerator separately and then work with the denominator separately. However, the method that students seem to like best when working with this type of fraction is to first eliminate these denominators here. And we can do that by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the least common multiple of these denominators, which in this case is their product, x times y. So let's do that. We'll multiply the numerator by x times y, as well as the denominator. Again, when multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators. And now we'll distribute this xy to these three terms, as well as distribute this xy to these two terms, which gives us x divided by y times xy plus negative 2 times xy plus y divided by x times xy, all divided by x divided by y times xy plus negative y divided by x times xy. Now the y's will cancel here as well as the x's. And the same thing in the denominator, the y's will cancel as well as the x's. And we are assuming here, of course, that x and y both are non-zero. And what are we left with? We have x times x, which is x squared, and then we have minus 2xy, and then plus y times y, which is y squared, divided by x times x, which is x squared, and minus y times y, which is y squared. And look, we've eliminated those original denominators. And now we can factor. Namely, this is equal to x minus y quantity squared divided by, and the denominator is the difference of two squares, which factors into x minus y times x plus y. And now we can cancel an x minus y from both the denominator 
and the numerator, which would leave us with 1 in the numerator. And we are assuming here, of course, that x minus y is non-zero, or that x does not equal y. Which leaves us with our answer of x minus y divided by x plus y. Which doesn't look quite as complex, does it? And this is how we simplify these types of fractions. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.